What's happening friends and family? Samuel Strong here, the Bushcraft Bodybuilder. I came out here today so I could showcase for you a few of my favorite Hidden Woodsman items. Uh, including, but not limited to, this Freetown Waste Pack and my current favorite day pack, the Model 23 Day Pack by the Hidden Woodsman. So I'm going to show you today what I carry in this, how, I'm able, well, how much I'm able to fit inside of both of these different items. Uh, this Freetown Waste Pack, I have carried this with me all the way to the Amazon jungle in Colombia, Peru, and Brazil, and back home. And this one here is kind of new to me in my travels, but I have, uh, it's become a fast favorite. So let's crack this one here. Is like I said, the Model 23 Day Ruck by the Hidden Woodsman. And right off the bottom here, you can see I've got my Woolly Mammoth Woolen Company wool blanket and a couple of some really cool uh, beads for my, my strings over here made by Father Nomad and these are glow-in-the-dark lanterns. You can see that shape there, so it's like a classic traditional lantern shape. And like I said, these are glow in the dark and made by Father Nomad. So by releasing these quick release straps, I can open the top of this, show you that I've got my my schmog, which is just great for a number of different things. And then uh, I've got the, the top of this pouch is a quick release roll down to keep any kind of creepy crawlies and moisture or whatnot from getting down inside of this pack. It's uh, got a lot of additional space when you unroll it like that. So right on the top here, I've got my Hidden Woodsman Blackout Tarp and a couple of tent stakes in there. Uh, this thing has served me, again, all the way to uh, the jungle, the Amazon jungle in Colombia, Peru, and Brazil, and back home here in the United States. Amazing item made by the Hidden Woodsman. It was a limited edition item. I don't think he's making these currently, but yeah, I got one. <laughs> and underneath that, I've got my water bottle here, my Nalgene water bottle. It's a 32 ounce water bottle. Got to have water with you everywhere you go. At least a little bit to start off with if you don't plan on boiling your own. And then in here, I've got, let's see if I can rest this back over this way. Got another Hidden Woodsman, uh, like a snow camo pouch that has uh, some more cordage in there. And these are a couple of my favorite items. My Wazoo Gear Field Hanks. This one here is my Animal Track Identification Hank. Super handy. I mean, these are actual real size uh, animal prints. You can just lay this Hank down on the ground and right next to whatever the track is and it'll help you identify most North American animals. As well as I have this other Wazoo Survival Gear Field Hank, which is a plant identification Hank. This shows you a bunch of the, another more common North American plants and how to use them. What parts are edible, medicinal, uh, non-edible, maybe poisonous. Great thing to bring with you. And then my Hidden Woodsman Hanky and uh, a uh, woodland camo. Also, I've got a pair of glasses here, some binoculars. It's always handy to have a pair of binoculars with you, help you see a little bit further, especially when you're in unfamiliar territory, or even in a situation where you would want to be able to see something before it sees you. If you're hunting or even stealth camping. Okay, moving on. I've got my Hidden Woodsman first aid kit. What's all I have to call it? My ouch pouch. Probably in reverse. You won't be able to see the way it's spelled out there. I've got my tiny mess kit. Which basically just consists of my little pocket burner. I'm not going to unfold that. Uh, my pot holder. A titanium pot. A can of fuel. A stand. And some tea bags so I can make some nice delicious hot tea. Oh, and a little uh, Uberlieben, not Uberlieben, a uh, Fiberlite ferro rod, Fiberlite fire starter ferro rod. And that's all I would need to get a fire going and boil some water so I could have fresh drinkable water or a nice cup of tea. Lastly, well, not lastly, next I have my. Uh, 
uh, Zero Foxtrot Woodland Camo Wooby. A Wooby is one of the greatest blankets you could possibly own. I'm not going to pull it out. And then I think this is what's last for inside the main compartment here. There's another Hidden Woodsman uh, pouch. And this has inside of it my Bushcraft Essentials. Advanced Bushcraft by Dave Canterbury. Some light reading while I'm out in the bush. Now, cool thing about this pouch pack is it's got a pouch on the front and inside here. This is where I keep my Uberlieben, my Uberlieben flat pack stove, and a couple other essentials. A nice little flat piece of steel. I use this for a number of different things. Some quick start fire material. Some more quick starting fire material, but this is a, a, a refill bag of fiber light fire starting material. And a large ferro rod and striker. Now as if that wasn't cool enough, you guys saw that I pulled this lid over in the beginning. This is also a pouch with some nice high vis green. I've got inside here uh, an assortment of different pouches made by uh, Pacific Northwest Bushcraft. Got that there, another one here, another one here, my, my hip pouch. All, all of this was made by Pacific Northwest Bushcraft. Uh, I've got a little field journal. Another small pouch that I use for some other, you know, random small items. This one's made by Tough Possum Gear. And then a small length of high visibility orange cord. And that is everything that I carry inside. Oh wait, that's not true. On the outside I also have my Mora Knife Companion and another round of some rapid rope that I've tied onto my own little contraption that I made here for uh, gathering my cordage. Yeah, another stretch of cordage. And that is everything all together that I carry inside my Model 23 Day Ruck. Uh, I could survive off of everything that I have here for at least a few days as long as I'm able to collect some sort of food. And honestly, I have survived off of much less for much longer. So thanks for checking that out.